Hello, so in my scene, I've got a camera. I've got my player here, which is at 000. So to set up an isometric camera, the easiest way to do it is to create an empty game object. Let's call this the camera pivot and zero that out. Then take your camera, slap it inside as a child and zero that out too. And as you can see, my camera is now directly in my player. So I'm going to minus 10 on the Z for the camera and then on the camera pivot. And by the way, never, once you've set this, never change this now, okay? So the actual camera transform never changes. So on your camera pivot now, let's change the X rotation to 30 and the Y rotation to 45. And then the most important thing uh, for an isometric view is to change perspective to orthographic. And I'll just turn off depth of field there. So there we go. That is the basic setup of an isometric camera. So now, uh, as I said before, never change the transform of this main camera. You will now just move the uh, camera pivot around. So like that. Okay. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to set up simple character movement for an isometric game. So traditionally, you would press up and down and you would actually move this way, right? Because that is actually up and down, but we've skewed our camera. Uh, in game, that does not feel good for the player. They, they're they expecting more of the uh, straight up and down uh, as you would find kind of like that. So stay tuned for the next episode. And uh, if this video helped you, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.